In this video, we will discuss the migration scenario from MBLS to SD1 using Meraki MX solution. Traditionally, headquarters and branches connect via MBLS circuit managed by the service provider. There are many challenges in this design. Some of those challenges are high cost compared to the offered bandwidth, takes a long time to deploy, not very secure as the data is transferred unencrypted. In addition, it's not a public cloud friendly. And finally, this design is dependent and has a limited geographical reachability based on the service provider network. Let's take a closer look at the current MBLS design, which is based on the Border Gateway Protocol PGP as a dynamic protocol. At the service provider point of view, it uses multi-protocol PGP to serve multiple clients' networks. Most organizations use MBLS service to connect headquarters, branches, stores, and warehouses to their private data center services. We will see how to migrate to SD1 solution step by step. First, at the HQ site, we add the Meraki MX as a VPN concentrator with one armed connection to layer 3 core switch using 1-1 interface to carry LAN and WAN traffic. We can have a new subnet to be point to point slash 30 and should be advertised in BGB routes. Here you can see the Meraki dashboard. We can navigate to the addressing and VLAN tab, then select the mode of the MX to be configured as a VPN concentrator mode. Next, we allow the Meraki MX to communicate with Meraki Cloud via upstream firewall. To see the rules which must be allowed at the upstream firewall, you can access the firewall info from the help tab on the right corner of the dashboard. Following this, we need to configure the Meraki MX at the HQ site as a hub and establish EBGB communications with layer 3 upstream core switch. From the side to side VPN tab, you can choose the auto VPN type as a hub. And when you scroll down, you can configure the BGB settings. Once the pairing is established, you will see the BGB routes received as an external EBGB. It's recommended to summarize the advertised routes from the upstream layer 3 switch to the Meraki MX. After that, we will replace the router at the branch site with Meraki MX connected to the internet and configure it as a spoke in a default routed mode. Then we can establish the auto VPN tunnel between the hub MX at the HQ and have the routes advertised to the branch MX as internal IBGB. Here you can see the configuration of the Meraki dashboard at the branch site. From the addressing and VLANs tab, we can make sure the default routed mode has been selected. As we have the layer 3 switch in the branch site, we need to have static route from Meraki MX to layer 3 switch in order to access local subnets for return traffic. So at the same addressing and VLANs tab, we can add static route to local subnets to be forwarded to the layer 3 switch at the branch site. In the case that we have a layer 2 switch in the branch site, we can use the Meraki MX as the DHCP server for local VLAN subnet. As a final step, at the branch MX configuration, we need to navigate to site-to-site -to -site VPN tab and choose the auto VPN type as spoke for branch MX and select the hub as the Meraki HQ MX. At the VPN settings, we need to make sure the branch subnet is enabled at the VPN mode to be advertised to HQ over the SD1 auto VPN tunnel. Here we can see the routing table at the branch site and how the routes have been learned from the HQ as internal BGB routes. Now, this branch has fully migrated to SD1 and can interconnect with HQ private data center services and can reach to other branches as well. I would like to introduce another way of hybrid migration to SD1 while keeping the MLS router at the store site. We will have the new MX configured as a spoke in the store site. Let's start by replacing the LAN link between the MBLS router and the switch to become the new link of the Meraki MX LAN port. Then configure a new subnet point to point slide 30 between the MBLS router and 1-1 interface on the Meraki MX. This subnet must be advertised in BGB routes. Then we need to inject a default route into MBLS network via BGB advertised routes and allow the new subnets to access the Meraki cloud via the firewall at HQ. As an optional step, we can have another dedicated connection to the internet at the store site connected directly to the MX on the 1 2 interface. As a result, we will have two auto VPN tunnels established between the store MX and HQ sites. 
one over MBLS and another tunnel over internet. So, from the SD1 and traffic shaping tab, we can apply policies to steer the traffic over one one or one two links as shown in this example at the SD1 policies. We can verify the VPN status between the store and the GQ from VPN status page and by clicking in the status to get more details, we can see the two tunnels has been established with details of latency, jitter, loss, and MOS values for each tunnel. As we have seen, we migrated the branch site to full SD1 and store site to hybrid SD1 and all the sites have full reachability. I hope this video was helpful for you and thank you so much.